Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video will be a continuation of my last video on cost function. Last week we talked about some of the cost function options for regression problem and today we will discuss about cost function for classification which is quite different than the cost function for regression. If you remember the output of classification models, usually probability distributions, and we cannot just do a subtraction operation between true label and predicted label to find the error as we did for regression. Let's have a look at an example. Say our target variable has three categories of cars like BMW, Toyota, and Ford. And remember this sequencing. First one was BMW, second one was Toyota, and third one is Ford. This sequence will be useful to understand the example. The probability distribution for each class will look like this. BMW, BMW is the first one, so the first one is 1, and the Toyota and Ford is 0, 0. And the Toyota, 0, 1, 0, because first one is BMW, third one is Ford, they are 0, and middle one is Toyota, so middle one is 1. And for Ford, it's 0, 0, 1, because BMW and Toyota will be 0, and Ford will be 1. So this is how we actually express it in the terms of 0 and 1. Now let's check how an output of one training example will look like. It will look like this. Three probabilities, 0 0.54, 0 0.912, and 0 0.023. Because we have three class, so we will get three probabilities for each training example. And out of all three, the highest probability will win. In these three numbers, 0 0.912, this is the highest one. Because 0 0.912 is in the middle one, so the middle class wins. The middle one was Toyota, right? So for this training example, the predicted class is going to be Toyota. Now, the for Toyota, original probability distribution was 0, 1, 0. Look here, Toyota 0, 1, 0. Toyota was in the middle class, so first and third one was 0. And now the predicted probability was 0 0.54, 0 0.912, and 0 0.023, right? Now, how to take the difference between two probability distributions? A very popular way in machine learning is cross entropy. Now, let's see how we can calculate cross entropy. So this is the formula for cross entropy loss. Cross entropy loss is minus y times log of p. Okay, and you can see y is 0, 1, 0, and p is this one for our training example. So you can see there is a negative sign, so we put the negative sign in the beginning, and then 0, the first one from the list of y, 0 times log of p, the probability. So from the p, the first one is 0 0.54. So 0 times log of 0 0.54 plus the second one from y is 1. So 1 times log of second one from probability 0 0.912. So 1 times log 912 plus third one of y is 0 times log of third one from p 0 0.023. So this is going to be our cross entropy loss. So this is going to be our cross entropy loss for one training example. So the cost function is going to be sum of all the cross entropy data for all the data in training set divided by the number of training set, which is denoted by n here. So this is for the cost function for multi-class classification when you have more than two classes in your training set. But when we have only two classes in the data set, we can use a different cost function called binary cross entropy. This is a special type of cross entropy where the label is either zero or one. For example, say we have two categories or classes in the data set this time, that is Toyota and BMW. So the original label will be zero and one. So 0 for Toyota and 1 for BMW. The predicted label from the model will look something like this. 0 0.23 or 0 0.5, 0 0.75, something like that. 
So let's assume for one training example, we got the output 0 0.23. Usually for binary classification, we get only one predicted output or predicted probability for one training example. And this predicted probability is the probability of occurring class one. That means the BMW, whichever is class one. In this one, we chose BMW to be class one. So this 0 0.23 is the probability of occurring BMW or probability of class one. So you can get the probability of occurring zero or Toyota by doing this, one minus 0 0.23, which is 0 0.77. The probability of occurring zero or Toyota is 0 0.77. So the predicted class is actually Toyota here. So this is the basic understanding of the binary classification now let's see how we can get the binary cross entropy loss or the cost function for a binary classification problem. So let's denote the probability of getting output class one as P and the probability of occurring output class zero is one minus P. So for the positive class, when Y equals to one, the cross entropy becomes log P. And the cross entropy loss becomes negative y times log p. And you saw this in the multi class classification just a few minutes ago, right? And for negative class, the cross entropy becomes log 1 minus p. And cross entropy loss becomes 1 minus y times log of 1 minus p. And the total cost function looks like this. Just you add this both of them y times log p plus 1 minus y times log 1 minus p and then we need to take the sum of this cross entropy loss for all the training example and divide it by n the number of total training example so that's it in this video we learned about the cost function for classification problem i hope this video was helpful if you like this video Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.